Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Cardin. Up here today, uh, we, well, it's a bit of an interesting uh, discussion here. Um, and today I'm talking about what's happening with uh, Netflix and WWE now. Um, uh, yeah, I know this story's been out for a couple of days now, but I wanted to sort of give my two cents on the um, on the story. So. Um, basically, WWE have signed a deal with Netflix. It's a $5 billion deal, which is insane. Um, I think it's probably one of the biggest signings in streaming history, actually. I could be wrong. Um, but basically, in 2025, WWE is going to Netflix. Now, originally, the first piece of news I seen was that Raw was coming to Netflix. And I thought, OK, that's interesting. But then it's actually come out and um, WWE have officially, you know, and Netflix have officially <laughs> announced that come 2025, um, you know, the WWE network is closing down and um, it's all going over to Netflix. So I want to sort of give my two cents on the situation here and what I think of it. Um, so obviously, if you're in the US, um, obviously WWE Network doesn't exist. It's on Peacock. Um, from what I've heard, um, that's still going to be the case till 2026. Whereas if you're in the UK um, or other countries, um, I'm mainly going to focus talking about the UK stuff because I'm in UK, so it doesn't apply for me elsewhere. Um, but apparently the deal is until 2025. Um, obviously, as I know, SmackDown and Raw um, is on uh, TNT Sports, um, and I believe that deal will be ending at the end of this year as well. Um, and from what I've seen is that the WWE Network is closing down at the end of this year, um, and it's all going to be going over to Netflix. Now, like I said, I'm a little bit sceptical because um, there's a few things you need to take into consideration here because number one is how are they going to handle um, handle this? Like, are we going to get some sort of um, are we going to get some sort of uh, notification towards the end of this year? Uh, will uh, the network say, oh yeah, we're closing down on the the 31st of December and then come the 1st of December, um, January next year, it's going to go straight to Netflix. Um, you know, I'm not 100% sure, you know, Netflix have issued out a statement saying, you know, that we're hoping to, you know, include, obviously, the premium live events and, of course, um, you know, the weekly flagship shows, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, main event, etc. Um, and it's not like Netflix don't do weekly shows, you know, there are, and other streaming services do actually have weekly shows. Um, so I'm not too worried on that front, you know. But it just seems to me like this could be um, a really good thing um, if you're if you're a Netflix subscriber, you know, at least you don't have to go out and um, use the WWE Network. You know, I think WWE Network out of all of the uh, wrestling streaming services, I think is one of the best because it has just thousands of content. You know, you've got every episode of um Every single pay-per-view, all the old pay-per-views, ECW, WCW, um, you know. But Netflix, to me, I'm a bit worried that we're going to lose a lot of these archive content. Now, it doesn't make sense to me for them to just basically get rid of that hands down. Um, obviously, there is a lot of uh, questions about whether or not Netflix will increase the price. Personally, I think Netflix shouldn't actually... Um, include it with its base product i think what they should do is they should have a separate subscription through netflix a bit like amazon prime where you can pay extra to have the wwe um stuff on netflix so you know just have like the wwe net network but through netflix you know um because obviously Netflix are trying to compete with other streaming services that have live sport. You know, Amazon Prime has, you know, some, um, you know, football stuff and tennis and all of these other things. Discovery Plus has a bunch of things and, and so forth. So obviously um, Netflix wanting to branch out. And I think WWE is it's a huge product. You know, it is huge. Um, like I said, 
personally, I think Netflix should just go right. If you want to have the WWE Network, uh, the WWE Netflix stuff, um, you have to pay a separate price, but through Netflix. Um, I think that's how they should do it because not everyone is going to be happy with, you know, if Netflix are going to add another £10 to Netflix and it's going to be £25 or whatever it is. I, I don't think a lot of people will be happy with paying that price, especially for people that aren't fans of WWE. Um, but on the other end of the spectrum, I think this could provide WWE with a ton of new um, <coughs> um fans and, and a tons of new you know it's really branching out because i think a majority of the um people you know who have um a, a tv these days will have netflix because it's probably the most um uh, what used streaming service out of the bunch you know i think most people use netflix right these days and again i'm not saying everyone does but a majority of people do um so you know it is insane to think, you know, and, and it does make bring the question, you know, what about other wrestling companies, um, you know, uh, AEW and um, TNA, will they follow suit and go to that like, Amazon Prime and, and things like that? It is possible, you know. Um, my biggest concern is is how are they going to do this? You know, how are Netflix going to handle this situation? Um, are they just going to go, right, we're just going to transfer everything. I don't know how the transfer and the VODs work, um, but are they going to basically just go? Um, I, I imagine this is how I'll see it happening. Is is they'll probably have, um, you know, like on Netflix, it has um, series and movies. They'll probably add a new um, hot bar or new um, button you can click on, and it will say wrestling or wwe for example it just it'll come up with wwe and then it will have all of the wwe stuff um like i said i mean i think it is a good move by wwe because again from a business standpoint um you are going to be putting your product out to a majority of people um for, for, for something that i think more people use rather than you know don't use like i said wwe networks um, what I would call a dedicated streaming service. You won't have the WWE Network unless you're a fan of, you know, wrestling. Now, I know that being said, um, going back to the point I made about the archive content and the classic stuff, I think, um, you know, the other territories and that, I think that does have a fan base and it does have, you know, it is one of the reasons why people might have the WWE Network. They might not want to watch the new stuff, but a lot of people want to go back and watch the Attitude Era stuff or the uh, Golden Era or the Ruthless Aggression Era. You know, um, I personally like watching a bit of everything, you know, on WWE Network. Um, um, again, even like I said, it is a massive thing from Netflix because they're now going to have a premium live events, you know, or pay-per-views, whatever you want to call them. Um, monthly as well and weekly programming you know that's 52 episodes times four a year you know 52 more episodes of main event 52 episodes of uh, Smackdown 52 episodes of Raw and 52 episodes of NXT you know that's nearly 200 plus episodes Netflix will be adding a year you know there's no talks about how long this um, deal is going to be um, and if this is a permanent move, like I said, there's not a lot of information about it. Um, I'm hoping for a seamless um, transaction. You know, I'm I'm hoping that it will just be a case of they'll add the stuff on at the end of um, 2024. Um, you know, it'll probably go. What they'll probably do is maybe at the end of 2024, maybe like December time, November, December, they'll start adding um things slowly like we might start seeing a few of the documentaries and uh, maybe some of the weekly stuff and then um it will go to um the uh then in the new year everything will go and there's no there's been no word about when the wwe network is closing down i imagine it will be the end of this year um i did see something about um the fox network usa network um that raw will be stopping in September um, and but that doesn't necessarily mean um, because that that's interesting you know because you gotta think cable TV in my opinion I'm gonna be completely honest with you I think live TV is 
is um when I say live TV, I mean like watching TV on, on like cable or Virgin or Sky or something, you know, channel. Um, I think it's dead. Um, I think too many people live in a society today where we've come accustomed to not having ads and being able to watch whatever episode we want, you know, not having to worry about, you know, clicking on and going, oh, I don't want to watch this episode. Um, you know, I, I think live TV is not so much ads per se, you know, there are add um like pluto tv and freebie a lot of these um free iw um iptv stuff coming up like pluto and um freebie that are coming up and people are using them because it means that you're able to watch some of these shows and movies yes they've got ads and but it's free you know at least you get to choose what you want to watch and i think that does have a big impact on um um uh, streaming services is that you're able to choose what episode you want to watch and on demand and things like this um you know again um how this is going to affect you know other cable companies you know in the long run i don't know um i think that this is a smart move by wwe um like i said at least here in the uk um i think it is going to reach a big you know, and Netflix is much bigger than, you know, that. Um, I am a little bit disappointed that the WWE Network is coming to an end because I've had my ups and downs with the WWE Network, but I enjoy it. You know, I, I think it is a, a pretty decent app and it does have a good selection of stuff on there. Um, there's been no word on how this is going to happen. Um, like I said, I think... In an ideal world, I would just like them to say, right, we're going to start adding a few things at the end of this year. Um, and then we're going to add everything else at the beginning of next year. You know, we still got another eight to nine months, ten months um, tops, really, before we start to see any of these um, uh, transactions and um, moving over actually happening. Um, so it don't have to worry about sitting here in China binge watch WWE on your WWE network for the next like couple of months and, and, and then we're going to go without. I think WWE is smart like that. They're not going to go, um, we're not going to have a couple of months where people can't watch our shows and pay-per-view live, live events, um, you know, on TV. Uh, WWE know of this. They're not stupid like that, you know. Um, I think all in all, I'm excited um, but I'm sceptical. I'm a little bit worried. Like I said, I'll keep with this um, discussion moving forward and we'll keep an eye on it. Any more information that we get, I'll probably sort of talk about in other videos and things. Um, but I think it is a smart move by WWE um, and I think it's going to be an interesting one. Um, I think Netflix have really up the game here and what will be interesting will be how other companies like disney and amazon are going to respond to this um you know i think they it could potentially um we could potentially see some um things coming up here you know um obviously i know aw's on the uh, thriller tv or uh, um Thriller TV or Fight, whatever you call it. And of course, uh, a, um, TNA has its own dedicated streaming service. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how some of these other companies will branch out, you know. So, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.